Hello and welcome to Oz Adventure Life. We're Caitlin and Michael and this week we finally make our way to Perth. We explore the beautiful Rottnest Island and see what else Perth has to offer. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another episode. We actually made our way to Perth yesterday yes, we did. and we're so happy to be here. We've had the best weather so far. Michael, where are we going today? We're going to Rottnest Island. <laughs> we're so excited. We are with our friend Arnold as well. He's being our Cheers. tour guy. <laughs> so we're excited to have him join us for the day. He's and got all the knowledge of around here. He's lives here so he knows all the hidden gems and also what we did yesterday is we went to a dive shop and we bought flippers <laughs> so I'm excited to have that for snorkeling because um, after the aquarium I got pretty excited for snorkeling so we're heading to the ferry now and let's get to Rut Nest Woo! we're here ready to get on the boat I forgot to film our journey over here, but we made it to Rottnest Island and we're just spotting our first few quaggers. They're <laughs> so cute. Um, what are we doing? Oh yeah, we have a bit too much gear to carry, so we're not going to be riding around the bikes. We're, we've got hop on hop off bus tickets, so that's how we're getting around the island today. Make it a little bit easier for us, but yeah, we're super excited. Oh, look at this little guy. Hello. Are you having a good day today? Tell YouTube. <laughs> Say hello. Where's your friends? <gasps> hey, hey mate, have you got your ticket for the bus? Because otherwise you're not going to be allowed to get on. <laughs> <laughs> So we've hopped off the bus here, we're at Parker Point, that's our first stop. So we're going to walk from here to Little Salmon Bay and um, we're going to hop in the water and have a bit of a snorkel there and see what's about. But I tell you what, she's a mint day, so let's get into it. We're currently getting rigged up and ready to go here at Little Salmon Bay. Uh, Arnold's just getting his uh, camera all sorted. He's got one of those fancy big ones and that he can take underwater. Yeah, so. get a look at this. Look at that. It's all about the size. It's the size <laughs> that matters. <laughs> oh, geez. Hopefully he gets some good pics in there. We might share them with you. Yeah, but um, I'd say it's going to be pretty cold in the water. So we'll get in there as soon as we can and get warmed up and uh, find a few fishies, maybe a shark. No. <laughs> Hopefully not. But look how amazing it looks. Yeah. Oh, how good did it look on the drone? Insane. You know the best part about swimming in the winter time is no one else is swimming because it's too cold. <laughs> so we're gonna have it all to ourselves. I'm so excited to get in there.
So how was that? That snorkel was amazing. The guys are still in there. Uh, I just chucked the drone up just to follow them. Looks like they found a crayfish. That was pretty sick. Um, water is freezing, but the clarity, as you can see, is just perfect. So uh, we'll keep finding a few more spots. The guys are going to snorkel a bit more. Oh, actually, is Caitlin. She's running up the beach. <laughs> <laughs> how was that oh that was amazing that was insane like it was just so clear and just heaps of fish everywhere crayfish arnold managed to find a few crayfish under the rocks oh. um but yeah it was it was fresh in there but uh very worth it hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did let's get into some more snorkeling so we just got dropped off the bus here at Eagle Bay. Michael's got the drone up to show you how it looks. It looks amazing. There's so many different stops that you can hop off on the hop on hop off bus here at Rottnest Island. Or if you're riding your bike around, you can just pull your bike up, stop and have a look, go for a swim if you like. Don't think we're gonna get in for a swim here because we just got out of the water at the other spot. But yeah, it looks amazing. There's some rocks down here if you want to do some cliff jumping if you're brave enough. But yeah, it looks pretty epic. At Eagle Bay as well, there's also a little trail that takes you further out to another lookout to see some seals. There's a rock out there. We can see them from a distance. But if you do want to do that walk out to the lookout, you have a good camera lens, you'll get a pretty good view of the seals. We just walked down to the next spot. We are here at Maple Cove. There is a little drop off here past the reef. We're gonna get our swimmers back on and go for a swim. I'm not looking forward to putting on wet swimmers, I will be honest, but it looks too good. So let's get in there. How do we feel about putting cold swimmers on guys? Oh, woo! <laughs> To be honest, it's not very nice, but we're gonna get in the water anyway, so it's gotta be done. <laughs> <laughs> Water was no good in there, eh? No, the clarity was just a bit, it was very murky because the current is so strong where we are and the waves are pumping in at the same time. It just like washes all the, um, all that murky stuff around and you can't see. There was a few fish in there when we did jump in, but we didn't get enough time to film, unfortunately, and you wouldn't have seen much. So we're gonna uh, head back to the other spot. Head back up to the other spot and we got something very exciting in Seoul. Pretty nervous, but we'll give it a crack. I was insane, it felt like forever when you're just, you're just <laughs> dropping and it's just like, oh, when's it going to get to the bottom? <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was sick. I haven't done a jump like that ever, I don't think. So uh, on to bigger and better things maybe in the future, but uh, <laughs> we'll stick with that now. <laughs> what a way to end the day. You beauty. Cheers. Definitely need this after the snorkeling. 
You earned it. Mm. <laughs> Is it good? Mm. So guys, it's actually been pretty quiet here today. We've had the whole island pretty much to ourselves everywhere we've been. Um, so soon we're gonna head back onto the boat and make our way back to the mainland and uh, should be about a half hour ride back. And uh, it's been a great day, but we've all enjoyed ourselves very much and uh, I'll definitely come back in the summertime. But yeah, that's the key about coming in winter is having the island to yourself pretty much. Good morning guys, we are in the car. We are due to have a service at Toyota, but I just checked our messages and they've moved our dates to next week. We're not exactly sure why, so mm. we're gonna go down there anyway and ask them why that's happened, but worst comes to worst, it's gonna extend our stay in Perth by a couple of extra days. Um, yeah, so that's our plans for this morning. And then I'm not sure what we're doing after that. So let's go see what Toyota says and work out the rest of our day. <laughs> we got the car in, didn't we? We did, lucky, thanks to Newcastle Street Toyota here in Perth. Um, they fitted us in even when the booking system played up and uh, had us booked in for like next week later in the week. So um, they fit us in. Getting her all serviced and ready for the next part of our adventure. <laughs> so we've got a little special guest today, Mr. Gus. Arnold's taking us around just to have a look at the beaches while we wait for our car to get serviced. So we're just down here at Florit Beach, is that right? Yeah, or City Beach. Or City Beach, so they call it. So yeah, it's a beautiful day today. <laughs> so flat. So guys, we just pulled up to Bayview Park. There's a little lookout area here and you get a view over the Swan River and you can see the city over there and uh, Claremont as well. So not a bad view if you ask me. Gussie approves. Yeah. Do you like the view, Gussie? Oh, I think he does. <laughs> <laughs> How good. <laughs> Just came for a drive here to Kings Park and it is so nice here. It's just such a beautiful, well-kept area. There's so many walking trails. You can ride your bike around. Yeah. There's, they've got botanical gardens here. Yeah, it'd be a nice place for a run as well or to sit down and read a book, have a picnic. Um, very well kept, like Caitlin said, the grass is so green. It actually looks like a golf course. <laughs> yeah. But the views are amazing. Like you just got the city up here and it's your nice, peaceful little area. out what looks different about Michael he's been to the barber and he's got a proper haircut yeah about time it was looking a bit rough um, no offense to Caitlin's <laughs> hair dressing skills but um, it just wasn't cutting it like so. the pun <laughs> no but um yeah got the hair cut um and we dropped the van off as you've seen to get a service this morning we've got a few errands to run we're going to head into iTech world we've got a faulty um battery charger we think so we're going to get that swapped over and we're also going to give the luxy a clean, a clean like a proper a hand clean wash clean and i want to polish it as well just to get it looking schmick and span so um, when we hit the road again, it's going to be looking crispy. So we'll get to Autobahn for that and uh, take you guys along with us. And yeah, let's get into it. It is time to give the big girl some love. We just had a call from base camp. Our bearings are worn in the caravan. So we're not going to be picking up the caravan today. It's going to be staying in the workshop over the weekend and we will pick it up again on monday or tuesday when the work is done which will actually be nice to have a little bit of a break from the van 
uh, make sure everything is all ready to go before we start heading north. We've got the gurney set up. So we're gonna give her a clean, get her nice and shiny. And we'll show you how she looks at the end. So guys, it's another day here in Perth and it is amazing weather. So we're gonna make the most of it. We're up in the Perth Hills at the moment and they have plenty of waterfalls to look and walk around. So we're here at Les Murdy Falls. We're gonna get onto the track, have a little look at this one. It looks pretty good from the reviews. So um, come along for the ride. We're not sure how much of a hike it is today, but I will say it is very, very busy up here. The car park is full, there's car parked all up the sides of the streets so mm. i'd say it's a pretty popular spot to come and see these waterfalls so let's get into it and see what we find hopefully some flowing water after our <laughs> last failed waterfall visit so yeah, let's get into it so this is a map of the different trails that they have here in these waterfalls so i think mike was going to show us which one we're going to take yes yeah, so we're currently here we're going to head along this trail here we're going to go to the head of the falls and then we'll come around and go to the foot of the falls it's about a two kilometer return they say allow an hour nice easy one it is <laughs> now definitely no need for jackets we are certainly warmed up after that we took a shortcut up we um, actually walked up the side of the mountain so it was like <laughs> much quicker but more of a class five <laughs> very narrow tracks on the way up but yeah oh, we're done what did you think about the waterfall we were just up I rate it. Uh, that's probably one of the best waterfalls that we've been to on this trip so far. So, got some pretty good footage on the drone as you would have seen. But um, now we've made our way to a spot we found on Wiki Camps. It's meant to have nice little rock pools. So, we're going to hit the track again. We don't know how long this one is. So, we'll get stuck into it and hopefully it's a nice short one and we can get a good view of it. This, um, these rock pools are in Kalamunda National Park, which is in the hills of Perth as well. I think we started off. <laughs> at a bit of a funny spot because we didn't see any signs or anything but this is kind of how the track looks it's pretty washed out actually this isn't so bad here but at the beginning of the track the washouts were ooh, had to do some jumping across them it was like mini canyons
I'm so glad we went and seen that rock pool. How awesome was it? When we first got here, we actually took the wrong trail because we didn't see any signage. Uh, so we probably walked a, a, an extra two kilometers than what we needed to. But if you do come to the car park, it is only 1.7 kilometers to the rock pools from the car park. Um, and it actually was a really popular swimming spot back in the 1930s before there were swimming pools. People in the community would come here and swim in the rocky pools. Unfortunately, <laughs> we didn't have our swimmers on, but, no, but I took my shoes off to wade them in the water and it was so cold. It was fresh, but- um, It would have been like an ice bath. I'll tell you what, people back in the 1930s, not a bad place to call your local swimming pool. I know, <laughs> so nice. Take a moment as well to look how car the clean is. How, how, car clean. <laughs> how, yeah. how clean the car is, Michael did. Oh, we both did a good job. Yeah. cleaning her up yesterday we'll see how long she stays clean for as you know on the road it doesn't usually last very long no. but she's nice and shiny for today yep gives it that uh protective coat as well for the rest of the trip so we'll uh see how long she lasts like caitlin said but till now i'm going to enjoy how shiny it is well what a nightmare of an update i'm not sure if you can hear me because it's windy today but we stayed in a hotel last night because our van's been getting serviced. We had a phone call yesterday and basically they said, your van's not ready to pick up. We're waiting for a part to arrive from Victoria because we had to get new brake shoes. Um, yeah, so that put us into a full panic. We have our whole month of July booked and I was freaking out, like calling making cancellations of bookings uh, we had no idea what to do anyway this morning we had a phone call from them saying good news we actually had the parts yesterday your van's ready to pick up but we are out on a hike at the moment i'll let michael tell you a bit about where we are yeah so i found this one in the hills of perth as well um, and it's called hovea falls so I've seen some pictures of it and it looked pretty specky, so we're gonna check it out. It's a short little walk from where we're parked and um, we'll go and get a good view of it. Hopefully I can stick the drone up. It's a little bit windy yeah, it is. and there's a little bit of rain about, so we'll see what we can do. But let's get into this walk. And then we're gonna go pick up our van, pay the damage on the bill and get on the road. We're heading to Nambung National Park. Yeah and we're gonna go check out the pinnacles later today. So let's go get into it. <laughs> What do you think of those falls? I thought it was pretty cool and it's really not that far. It's only a couple hundred meters off the road, um, but it's definitely worth going to check out. It would be awesome to do like one of the other trails that are a bit longer because it's a really pretty forest. Yeah, and it looks like you come across the falls. Yeah. Well, I can imagine after a few days rain, but those falls would be absolutely pumping. Yeah, it was, it was definitely worth a visit. Probably. Got the big girl back. Yeah. And the adventure's back on the road. Yeah, finally. <laughs> it's felt like such a long week in Perth, but we're out of here. We're on our way to Nambung National Park. We have a two hour drive ahead.
we've just arrived at Nambung Station Stay and it's safe to say after that drive in, our van and our car is no <laughs> longer clean. She's nope. got mud splashed all over it. So um, yeah, this place looks pretty cool. It's like a farm stay kind of thing. Over there I can see horses and donkeys. So we'll take you over to see them after we check in and get set up. Yeah. Look at this fresh spray paint. Yeah, it's good new addition if you ask me. We got this spot here. There's a bit of a wind this afternoon, so he's put us beside the wall of hay bales to block the wind. We're gonna go do the Pinnacle Desert Drive this afternoon. It's a bit further away than what we thought, but um, I think we'll have a good sunset out there. Should do. Let's get set up, hey? Yeah. First set up in a little while. Mm. Well, guys, look who's in the driver's seat. <laughs> Taking control. It's gotta be a first for the trip. <laughs> we just dropped our camper off as, <laughs> camper. We just dropped our caravan off as you've seen. And we are on our way to the Pinnacles Desert Drive in the Nambung National Park. It's a 57 minute drive, so it's a bit further than what we expected and the road's not too good, hey? Yeah, it's a bit slippery and wet, so we've had a bit of rain, so it's been eaten away. There's a few cars that have been on it and chewed it up, so it's I'm just a matter of taking it easy. Yeah, and I'm not your girl for four-wheel driving experience, so, <laughs> I mean, it's not anything no. hectic. It's just a bit muddy. It's like a mixture of mud and sand, and it's just slippery. Um, I've done a bit of sand driving, but don't have much experience in the mud, so it definitely feels a bit slipperier than what I am used to, that's for sure. But hopefully it's not too much of a bad drive out here, and we'll enjoy the pinnacles. Pretty sick. There's uh, heaps of little, well, little bit pinnacles about, and this is only the start of the drive. So we just pulled in. It's a four-kilometer loop. We just thought we'd stop off the road and show you. So we're driving through this Pinnacles Park, I could, oh, desert you could say, and it's pretty spectacular. As you would have seen on the drone, we followed the car a little bit and got a better view from above. It's amazing. And to think that 
over the thousands of years these are formed from just the sand being eroded away it's just crazy there's yeah. a couple of big ones it's it's actually really unique i think it's one of the only places in the world that has formations like this mm. so it is pretty awesome to see and we did come at a good time because the sun setting sort of shines on them and makes them look like a beautiful color but awesome spot if you're around even Perth it's only like 200 kilometers north of Perth so pretty achievable even in a day trip, trip. yeah um, and you also get views of the ocean to our right as well so nice little spot but we'll continue exploring and uh, get back to camp These are the donkeys at the um, station stay or at this. Oh no, you can't munch on my hand. You can crunch on some hay. Want some hay? No. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. How cute are they? No, oh, no, you don't want pats. It's stay here at Nambung Station. It was a beautiful little farm stay. It's time to head off from Nambung Station. I'm gonna wrap up this episode here. If you are new to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and come along with us on our adventure. And we'll catch you guys next week. Bye. See you guys.